My name's Clinton Tudor and I live in Auckland, based in Auckland and I'm an action advertising photographer. So one of the publications we're working on today, in fact, is BMX Life. It's an Australian publication and we're working with a great writer, Liam, from New Zealand. He's doing really, really well with the King of Dirt series. He's a super good street writer, so we're going to have a lot of fun out there with him. You know, I, I don't really spend a lot of time in the studio. For me, it's like getting out onto location and actually working with an athlete and bringing out the best uh, of what that athlete has to offer in terms of their potential. And for me, it's just a case of just being there, right time, right place, and setting up my vision for it and working with them and getting a great image. We didn't quite get that shot there. We got shut down by security, but uh, we got a nice profile shot. So on to the next location. Run for about five or six years, just you know, go down the skate park most days, just keep practicing, just slowly get more difficult tricks to get on. We're gonna use another head over here just basically to rim him and pick him out from the background. So yeah, that's what we're up to right now. I tend to use um, a lot of daylight flash. Yeah, so just to basically bring the athlete out, like if it's into through the year. I'm not really a big fan of like guy in the sky shots. I kind of like to have people sort of within the landscape. So for me, the photo has to work um, if I have the athlete there or not. So that's kind of like my point of it all. And um, yeah, I just, I tend to use really high powered flash to pretty much over, override whatever the daylight is doing and, and really pick that rider out to make it kind of a little bit hyper real, I suppose. It's kind of my trick. And then obviously a lot of post <laughs> is generally how it works. Uh, do the biggest puffy eyes and just say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sad. I didn't know, absolutely didn't know, just didn't read the signs, and it was like that when we came here, so we thought it's open now, you know? Right now we just got the 1755 on. We could go a bit longer, but I quite like this. So I'm just letting these guys session a little bit. See how we go, I like this, this is cool. And the crane and everything in the background is just really, really nice. So yeah, we're gonna light this now. And it seems like uh, Liam's warming up, so hey, she better get out a little bit higher. Open up the ISO a bit and um, and we're just basically open up the iris. Yeah. Let's go for um, just a bit more looser stuff, you know? I uh, just jumped up to the top, landed a bit flat and twisted the grip too far and it started to rip. <laughs> it's about the moment, to be honest. It's it can have all these little moments that are going on, and for me, I'm, I'm always about the timing, and it's, it's really trying to get that out, actually, trying to get the, the most precise timing that I possibly can, whether, whether the rider looks the most clicked or um, is at the peak of the trick, and, and um, that's, that's what it's about for me. It's about timing. It's a thrill, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked actually. Yeah, no, we, we, I think we did pretty good considering the, the conditions and everything. So yeah, no, we're happy with that. Yeah, it's, it's we'll, be doing, we'll be doing another session. Right, right on. It's really like just when you know everybody just feels like they've just done their best, I suppose. And you know when that is, everybody's got their own hundred percent and. Yeah, it's just when things come together, like, because I generally plan them out um, a little bit beforehand if I'm going to go for a single shot. And it's, it's like I get that plan and then bring the team together and, uh, you know, have the right equipment and, and it normally comes, it normally comes together. So, yeah, 